Hey, my new slack line just arrived. Here, I'll come show you how to set it up. Let's go. Dude, check this out. We got two giant ratchets. We got the tree protection. And we got 100 feet of slack line webbing. Let's go. Okay, first you have to undo the plastic part around it. If you have a knife, it makes it really easy. But you can also get it undone with your hands if you try really hard. Dang it, I'm gonna get it. There we go, got it off. <laughs> now we got the tree protectors. You gotta, you gotta save the trees. So the tree protectors help save the trees, but they also help save the line. Now the ratchets. So you wanna wrap the ratchet all the way around and then put the ratchet through the stone loop. That Make sure it's on the tree protector, it's not slipping down. So this is a little trick that I do. You definitely want the pattern side facing up, and then you make a little fold, just like that. Then you have the very bottom of the fold against the very end of the loop. And then when you pull it, it comes out completely straight, just like that. So the way that you're gonna put the webbing in, first you're gonna go over the top bar in through the hole, just like that. And then the little secret that I do, is I go back up through here and then I crank it. Yeah, so the reason on this side I barely put any in is because it's gonna spool up twice as slow now. So it's actually like using two ratchets on this side. It's a little cheat that I made. You wanna crank it maybe three or four times until you know it's not gonna slip anymore. And that's gonna be our anchor point right there. You can see it's not coming out. Gotta get all the little twisties out of it. Twisties. You wanna make sure that the line is completely straight. It's gonna, it's not gonna be good if there's a twist in it. There we go, all the twists are out. You find out this is the straight side up. You're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna put it over top of the bar and then in through that hole. So you're gonna put it in through. Except this time, we're gonna pull it all the way through the bottom. And you're gonna pull the line all the way through now. Now's the most important part. It's called pre-tensioning. The ratchet can only be cranked a certain number of times before it maxes out. So you want to get the line as tight as you can get it before you start cranking. That way, the line has the maximum potential to get as tight as it can get. The way you pre-tension it is you pull it as tight as you can through the ratchet. Ugh. So now once you've pre-tensioned it as tight as it'll go, you can start cranking the ratchet. Okay, I'm gonna show you a few steps that you can take if you wanna keep your line from fraying. The reason that your line frays is because the line is touching this metal piece right here. So for this step, you're definitely gonna to wanna to grab a fret. So you can see how the line is touching the ratchet at this point right here. And that's gonna cause the line to fray. So we're gonna to wanna to move the ratchet into a point where the line is equally between the both sides. So you wanna pull the ratchet in the direction so it's not fraying the line. So I'm gonna take the extra slack line that I have, bend it in half, and then you're gonna pull the ratchet in the correct direction. So in this case, you're gonna wrap it like this and pull this way the same time someone cranks. One, two, three. One, two, three, pull. Yeah, so in our case, we pulled a little bit too much, so now we're gonna have to pull in the opposite direction. So we're gonna take the webbing and put it on this side, and now pull this way. Now you can see that the line is in between the two metal pieces. That's exactly what you want. So basically, you're going to crank the ratchet until it doesn't crank anymore. And then the most important part is you want to close the ratchet so it's in the locked position. Otherwise, it can come undone on you and you don't want that to happen. This way it's safe and you'll be perfect. Now time to crank the other side. Let's go! So this is the side that we put barely any of the webbing into. So this is where we're going to get most of our tension for the line. So this is the side that we put barely any of the webbing into, so the spool is gonna fill up twice as slow. So you're gonna be able to get most of your tension from this side. It's similar to having two ratchets on this side. It's a little cheat that I know of. So now you wanna make sure that the ratchet is closed in the lock position, and now you're ready to trick line. And that's how you set up a double ratchet slack line. So I designed this slack line personally. You can get it at sendingslacklines.com. So this slack line is 100 feet long, so you can set it up extra long to get extra bounce. And it comes with two larger ratchets, so you can get it extra tight. 